similar dream guitars, and this is fun for me because John Slobot of Circuit Guitars is a good buddy of mine. I've known him for years now. I get to see him almost every summer here at Warren Wilson College for the um, Swannanoa Gathering, which is one of the best music camps in the world. And we have a little Luthery show there, and John um, comes um, pretty much every summer, um, as well as you know the other shows. I always see him at Woodstock, New York, and wherever wherever we can meet up, we certainly enjoy that. Um, he's a brilliant guy. I'm um, really smart and has lots of great um, hobbies and um, you know much deeper um, person than you, than you might imagine. Um, just in, in his knowledge of music and books and literature and histories, he's just a cool guy. Um, that's just an aside, but um, what I've found over the years that you know some of the builders, when you play their instruments and then you meet them, you can kind of feel their personality in the guitars, and that's what I was sort of trying to get to there. John is just this really cool guy, super friendly, and it comes across in the instruments. Um, um, you, you might know what I mean if you've had an experience where you've had a guitar custom made by a really great guy and you just kind of feel that energy in the wood. Um, anyway, enough about that. Um, but this one's a beauty, as you can see. Super beautiful sunburst. This is an early guitar of John's from 2003. It's number four. So it's very early in his career on his own, but John had a long history working with Dana Bourgeois, Bourgeois guitars, and also with um, Julius Borges, Borges guitars. So two of the best traditional guitar makers um, that we still have today, um, John worked with them both. So he had, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 years of experience before ever putting a Circa label on a guitar for himself. So um, a lot of these makers have tons of experience before they ever get to sell them under their own brand name. Um, this one is a gorgeous Coca Bowl Rosewood. As always, look at the website for all the pictures and enlarge them and take a good look at them. But Coca Bolo is this beautiful wood that has, um, it's a little bit heavier than other rosewoods, but it's worth the, the price of the weight because you get this awesome sustain and this beautiful depth and, and warmth and clarity like Brazilian rosewood. It's very close sounding to Brazilian. Um, and then um, mahogany neck, of course, Waverly tuners. The rest is sort of what you might expect and just a great traditional um, built guitar. So let's give this one a spin. Mm -hmm. 